So a lot of folks have been asking about the H920 bind for the H480. Long and the short, what you'll do is you have to tilt the H480 forward three times. And you'll have to look up because I don't have time to, to post on how to bind it. But what you'll do is you'll open up the drone to bind it. You'll go to model select. And you'll find that there are actually several options. There's the Typhoon H and the H920. What you're going to want to do is go and click on it, hit copy. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to make an extra copy. And what it'll do is it'll create a second H920 model. Click on that. It'll look for the H and it'll automatically bind to it. Now what will happen, I'm going to stop. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I don't have my drone on so it's not binding to anything, but long and the short you'll notice the controls look exactly like the H480. The only difference will be when you go to task, if you see there off the left, you'll have a waypoint option. When you, and you can click on this during flight, no problem. It'll give you a warning, but don't worry about it. Everything flies exactly like the 480, but when you open that waypoint, it will now give you a live Google map. You'll have your camera here on the left, and you can double click that to swap between the live map and the camera. But then to create a waypoint mission, you'll click here, and you can just start marking. <laughs> Never goes quite as easy as you think it's going to. I'm not doing any particular pattern, but with the combined data, knowing what your flight path should be in your spacing, you can approximate it off of some of uh, the other methods that uh, Anderson has talked about. But anyway, if you'll go and read up on how to use the H920 waypoint, you can actually learn to use this pretty well. And then when you're ready to fly, you'll just click the play button. And of course the drone is not connected, but you'll slide over and it'll proceed to go and fly the mission. My one warning initially, is when you do your waypoints, I'm sorry the camera's shaking, I'm having to hold it. When you do your waypoints, you'll find all these options for pan, tilt, action, you can hover, you can pan 360, take photo, record. Do not use any of these commands on the H480. Um, for some reason, if you try, it'll fly to the waypoint, it'll get there, it'll try to take the picture, and then all of a sudden, it'll fly east like it's trying to head home. Um, trying to head back to China. So do not use any of those. Only use manual uh, for your pan and tilt. But if you want to adjust all your universal settings, your altitude, everything, you can click that button right there and that'll adjust all your settings. But do that before you plan your mission or else it won't uh, allow you to do it. One other quick trick. If you go into each individual point, let's go to point eight, and you want to change your altitude, for instance, you have to scroll down or you have to click yes to save. If you do not save it, it will go back to the default. Anyway, I hope this helps you guys out for a little while and uh, I'll try and make a better video with the full uh, mapping that I do for the 480. Thanks guys, y'all have a good one.